how to compress video on Mac. If you are using MacBook Air, MacBook Pro or iMac, the steps are going to be same. Now for example purpose, I have kept few videos on my desktop so that I can show you how can we compress the video. Now in today's video, we are going to use Handbrake software to compress our video. Now it's a completely free software. I'll try to leave a link for that software in the description below. You can go and check it out later. Now once you download and install this particular software, first of all, you need to open it. This is how the interface looks like. You can go in open source, then select the desired location where the video is. And after that, select the video. Now, this is the video we are going to compress. If I show you the information of that, currently it is 43.4 megabytes, right? So we are going to compress it. So select the video, select open. Once the processing is done, the video will be appeared here. Now you can check out basic details of that over here. Now, first of all, uh, we are on the summary page. Over here, you need to go in preset option. So select this drop down. In general, you can find multiple presets over here. The original format is MOV. We are going to change it to other format, right? So you can check out all the presets option over here and you can, you know, select whichever option you want. So if you want 4K option, you can select 4K. If you go in general, if you want 1080p, you can select 1080p at 30 FPS. Now later on, if you want to increase the FPS size, I'll show you how to do that. In format, you can select this drop down or drop down and you can select the format. You can check out all the other details. You can check out the codec. So the track is H.264. It is 30 FPS and audio codec is AAC, which is stereo. So you can check out all the details over here. Uh, after that, you can go in dimensions. And if you don't want a cropping factor, you can select this cropping option, select this drop down and select none over here. Now, usually there is no need to do anything on this particular page. Just in case, if you don't want crop, you can select this option. Later on, you can go in filters. You can check out that option. And main uh, thing is on the video option. So you can select this video. Now over here, there is an option of frame rate. So you can select this drop down. If you want to increase the frame rate, you can do that. If you want to decrease the frame rate, you can do that as well. Let's say we are going to decrease the frame rate to 24. Let's keep it to 24. After that, if you want to increase or decrease the quality of the video, you can select that option as well. So in quality, if you move this toggle towards left it will decrease the quality of the video and if you increase the toggle or if you move the toggle towards the right it will increase the quality of the video so we are going to compress it so let's keep it somewhere around here and after that everything is done you can go and cross verify all the changes and you can hit the start button to start compressing the video before that you can select the location where you want to save it you can also rename it so we are going to rename it as video compressed and if you want to select any particular location, you can select the browse option and you can select the folder where you want to save it. So I'm going to keep it on desktop and everything is done. Let's start. So the compression is done. Now the video is on desktop over here. Now the current format is MP4 and the original format was MOV. You can check it out. So you can check the video quality. If I try to play it, this is the compressed video quality over here. And this was the original quality. So definitely there is a difference of detailing and all. So if I show you the information of this one. So now you can see it is 8.7 megabytes. Whereas the original video was 43.4 megabytes. So this is how easy it is to compress video on your Mac. So as I told you, we have used Handbrake software, which is completely free. You can go and check it out in description. You'll find a link to it. So yeah. That's it for today's video guys. If you find this video informative, don't forget to subscribe. I will see you all in the next one. Thank you.